In this video, we are going to cover op-amp clamper. If you want to watch this video in Hindi, you can check out the link of Hindi video in the description or comment section. Okay, so I'm going to start with concept and then I'm going to cover the circuit diagram and then working in detail and waveforms. So suppose this is my op-amp output. Okay, but I'm not happy with this output and I want to shift my output waveform a little bit up. Okay, so suppose it looks like this. Okay, so it means that this is shifted by this reference voltage okay so some dc level is added to your output waveform without changing its shape if you see the peak to peak value of these two waveforms will be same okay so suppose this peak to peak value is 10 volt then this is also 10 volt okay so the peak to peak value is retained the exact shape of waveform is retained only it is shifted little bit up or down by some dc voltage so if this reference voltage is positive then it is positive clamper okay there are two types positive clamper and negative clamper so if this voltage is positive then this is positive clamper and if it is shifted downwards and have some negative reference voltage if this dc value is negative then this is negative clamper this is the simple concept okay that's it so the circuit diagram is very simple this is the v reference which we just talked about so this is the reference voltage the dc voltage you provide to the circuit so that the circuit identifies that by how much it wants to shift the output so if you provide positive voltage one volt the output will be shifted upwards by one volt if you provide negative voltage like minus one minus two output will be shifted downwards by minus one minus two volt okay then this is input voltage and then there is one capacitor one resistor and in the feedback path there is one diode okay now note that your output is taken at this point output of clamper is collected at this point not at this point okay so usually we collect the output of op amp at this point but note that output of clamper is collected at this node okay and this is your load resistor now i'll explain working now okay now pay attention okay so your input is nothing but sine wave right so suppose this input wave is not started yet okay your output is still at zero there is no input means in absence of input signal what happens now there is nothing at inverting terminal right and at non-inverting terminal there is some reference voltage now for example i am taking some positive reference voltage okay so this is positive reference voltage so the output of op amp is going to some positive value okay and that positive value is going to forward biased this diode and if this diode is short circuit, so op amp is working in closed loop now. Okay. Now, as your output was V reference and this is closed loop. Okay. So, this capacitor will start charging. Okay. Now, what voltage is available over here? V in is not available yet. V in is still zero, right? So, V reference is available. So, VC will be V reference in absence of input. Okay. When V in is zero. Okay. So, when V in is 0, okay, your V C is nothing but V reference, okay, I, I have noted this over here. Okay, now let's see what happens when there is presence of input, okay. So, suppose my input is sine wave now. To make it simple, I am starting with negative cycle first, okay. I will explain what happens in negative cycle first and then I will come to positive cycle. Here, there is negative cycle at this point at inverting terminal and at non-inverting terminal, there is still some positive voltage, okay. So, in negative half cycle, the voltage at inverting terminal is nothing but this voltage plus this voltage right so there is v reference stored in capacitor plus this v in value so output over here so over here non-inverting terminal still has v reference minus what is there at inverting terminal minus v in because we are talking about negative half cycle first and the capacitor charge capacitor charge was v reference when v in was zero vc had v reference okay so this will become v reference plus v in minus v reference okay so this v reference and v reference will cancel out and vo will become positive v in okay so let me call this vop okay so this vo is different so output of this op amp at this point is coming out to be v in some positive value over here okay so this diode has some positive value at p terminal so it will be forward biased so this diode will be forward biased and will act as short circuit okay now this is going to complete the loop again now this capacitor again has a path to charge now this capacitor already had v reference in it okay and now v in is there at this 
point okay so v in is there so v reference plus v in okay now instead of v in i can write the peak voltage of v in okay so there is some peak voltage to this v in input voltage so i will write peak voltage plus v reference v reference was already there in the capacitor that was retained by it now what happens in positive half cycle if you see at inverting terminal now there is positive voltage plus this capacitor voltage at inverting side and at non inverting side there is just v reference okay so in previous case the v in was negative over here that's why this diode was forward biased easily now what happens is v in is positive because now we are talking about positive half cycle now the inverting side is more stronger than non inverting side so that's why vop output of op amp is going to turn negative now okay now this negative voltage is going to reverse bias the diode now this diode is open this is reversed biased so this branch is broken now okay so now whatever there is till this point it will come at output so this input voltage plus this capacitor voltage this both will be your output voltage simple your output is v in okay v in plus vc okay and what is vc v reference plus vp okay so this is your output voltage okay so let me show you by example this is 1 2 and 3 so this is 3 volt peak positive peak okay now when your input is zero okay and v reference is suppose 1 volt okay v reference i am taking over here this is my v reference at 1 volt so v reference is fixed 1 volt and what is vp vp is also fixed plus 3 for positive half cycle now when v in is zero okay input voltage has just started so output will be what 3 plus 1 4 okay now input little bit increased 1 plus 1 plus 3 it will be 5 output will be 5 okay now input is 2 okay i am slowly increasing input the output will be 6 okay now when input is 3 okay it reached its peak my output is 7 so it started from 4 5 6 and it ended on 7 so the output waveform will look like this so this is 4 5 6 and 7 okay so it will end on 7 so i will draw for negative half cycle also so suppose my input is now minus 1 and v reference is still 1 and vp is 3 okay it will be 3 then coming more down so minus 2 plus v reference is still 1 vp is still 3 3 minus 2 plus 1 it will be 2 then i'm making it more negative minus 3 plus 1 plus 3 1 so in positive half cycle it was from 4 to 7 and then in negative half cycle it is coming till 1 okay so this was my 1 volt reference okay now i am just redrawing because i have not exactly measured the scale okay so this is how output is shifted upward by 1 volt okay in positive half cycle 4 to 7 and then in negative half cycle 4 3 to 1 so this is your center axis now okay so that's the same shape of output waveform just shifted upward by 1 volt okay that's how it is working if you are getting confused watch this explanation once again i'm sure that you will understand it very clearly but this is how it's going to work okay if you find it difficult watch it again you will surely understand it so that's all about this video if you have liked this video please subscribe to my channel like this video and share my whole playlist with your friends thank you